Today we're going to talk about the two current electronic crossovers from PRV Audio, the EX 3.5 Stereo and the EX 4.6 Pro. First let's talk about the EX 3.5 Stereo which is one of the newest crossovers from PRV Audio. Three inputs five outputs so you have one two three here on the bottom you have the front end and you have a separate sub in the sub in is good if you want to control it with your radio a lot of radios have a function to control subwoofer if you follow the arrows it's pretty easy to see where these go so the front end can be shared between the sub in and the other outputs that use the front end connection by pressing the button uh, it's very descriptive here. When the button is down, you're using the signal from the front in to go to the sub out. When the button is up, you're using the sub in signal to go to the sub out. We'll start with the sub out here. We have a subsonic filter between 40, 30, 20, and flat. Flat will have no filter for the subsonic which is basically a high pass filter. So this will cut the low frequencies. It's very accurate. There's no guessing on which frequency you have it set to. It's very clearly marked here. The next is the low pass filter, which will cut your high frequency. So you have a choice between 250 hertz, 150 hertz, 80 hertz, and flat. Flat will leave it open, no crossover. You come down, you have a phase. Some people like to put their subwoofers 180 out. You see it sounds different to you. Bass boost. And then you basically on and off for the signal. This will tell whether the signal is going to come out or not. And then you also have the gain control here level, which controls the amount of signal going out to your amplifier. Coming back to the front in, it goes up and over to the mid out. Here you have a high pass and low pass filters. You can use this for a variety of different products. The filter start 250, 150, 80, and flat. Low pass, 8,000, 4,000, 2,000, and flat. Again, on and off, and the level. The next one over is the high out. This is more, mainly for tweeters, but it can also be used for compression drivers. There is a phase button to put it 180 out. Some people like to change the phase to get rid of cancellation issues. The high pass filter here is 8,000, 4,000, 2,000, and 900 hertz. Just like all the other outputs, there is an on and off and a level. Let's just go back to the outputs. The sub out is really only going to be good to be used with a subwoofer. Why? Because the frequencies are very low on the cutoffs. These are very low, 40, 30, and 20, and very low on the low pass, 250, 150, and 80. Is really only going to sound good with a subwoofer or a very low frequency woofer. The mid out is best used for low frequency woofers, mid bass, and mid range because of the filters that are in place here. And finally, the high out again is for tweeters or very high frequency titanium compression drivers. The best application for this crossover, the EX 3.5 stereo, would be a simple three-way system inside of the car with a subwoofer, a mid-range or mid-bass, and a tweeter. If you want to do a large system, multiple components on your doors, or a stunt wall, then I'm going to show you the EX 4.6 Pro. The EX 4.6 Pro has four inputs and six outputs. So we have here on the bottom, the front end is one, two, three, and four. The six outputs are one, two, three, and four. Just like the 3.5 stereo, you can follow the arrows and see where the signal goes. So if you want to use this, just the front end, you can use just one connection here, a left and a right RCA. 
and it goes up and it will come over to the sub in. When the button is down, you're using the front input. When the button is up, you're using the sub input. Move this up so you can see. So the sub input just has one RCA connection that will go up to the sub out. The front end will also go to the mid-low in. Same idea. If you want to use this RCA only, the button should be down. If you want to use its own input, the button should be up. And the signal will carry straight up to the mid-low out. So the sub and the mid-low are mono channels. Sub out, mid-low out. These are mono. The front input then will go over to the mid high out and the high out. The sub output has only a low pass filter. This will cut high frequencies starting at 55 hertz up to 300 hertz. This is really good for subwoofers and you can also use this for very low frequency pro audio subs. But if you're going to do that, we recommend using the sub input that comes from the sub output of your radio so you can set a high pass filter. And you can also control the level right from your radio. It does have a base boost knob, 0 dB, which is no boost, all the way to plus 12 dBs. There is an on and off switch. We'll cut the signal to the amplifier and then a, a gain level control. The mid-low out has both high-pass and low-pass filters. These two outputs, the mid-low out and the mid-high out, are pretty versatile in that you can use them for a variety of different products. The mid-low out, we don't recommend using it on tweeters or titanium compression drivers because you'll be losing out on some high frequencies on this low-pass filter using it with a titanium compression driver that can play much higher than 9,000 hertz. The high pass filter starts at 25 hertz and goes all the way up to 4000 hertz. So that's where it's good for phenolic compression drivers, mid range or mid bass. Then the low pass filter, which is the high frequencies, you can cut from 300 hertz all the way to 9000 hertz. On and off switch and level control. The mid high out is better for titanium compression drivers. You can also use this for mid range or mid bass. This is a stereo output, okay, so you have left and right, that'll take the left and right from the front input. The mid-low and the sub are mono, so these two signals are merged and come out with only one RCA. The high out has only a high pass filter, which is mostly used for tweeters, super tweeters, or titanium compression driver that you just want to cut the low frequencies and let it play all the way up to wherever it'll reproduce. Again, it has on and off switch, just like all the other outputs, and a level control. So again, the EX 4.6 Pro is better for a larger system where you have multiple components versus the EX 3.5 stereo, which is better suited for a smaller in-the-car system. If you guys have any questions about these crossovers, about the applications or the features, just go ahead and leave a comment and we'll be sure to get back to you. Thank you.